What's going on, everybody? We've got episode 7 or week 8 in the year 3 of the Ball State Dynasty. After that huge win last week, we improved to number 2 in the nation and 6 0 overall. Let's go to the top 25. If we can keep this going and Auburn keeps winning, looks like we might have a national title between these two teams. But nothing is guaranteed as the ACC has been a story of upsets. Northwestern beat Florida State. Let's go to 25 polls again. Behind us is Ohio State, who's undefeated. And Rutgers, surprisingly, is fourth. Never thought I'd see that. Vontek only falls to fifth, so we merely switch spots with Vontek. And Army is sixth. I do not know where Army is coming from, but oh well, sometimes weird things happen, right? You get in, you start bringing in bigger recruits at a small school, it messes everybody up. We're first in the ACC Coastal Division. We are 3-0 and in the division, obviously, because we're undefeated. And behind us in second place is Duke. We've got that tiebreaker over Vatek. Let's go to the Atlantic. Clemson, undefeated and not ranked. That looks like a dangerous team. So, something's got to happen there. We'll see. Anyways, uh, let's check out the Heisman watch. Petway and Humphrey are still in the same spots. I don't know what DeMonte has to do to move to number one. But he's been killing it. Keeping turnovers to a minimum. He's thrown 16 touchdowns, 8 picks. So he's on track to do a lot better this season as far as touchdown interception ratio um he has run for 518 and six touchdowns and he is a 93 overall so demonta is proving the pro scouts wrong that he won't be able to handle football at a d1 level but he can all right we got three and two uva we should be able to handle him but this part of the schedule is what i like to call the crush hence the title of the video here's the reason why we got a bunch of three and three three and two teams teams that i like to call sleepers these are the guys that sneak up on you when you least expect it like uva miami tennessee unc duke and of course we're playing illinois so we've played some pretty solid opponents when they've played us but Overall record of our opponents isn't looking too good. So, uh, we got to beat the ranked teams. Just got to keep grinding it out. All right. Let go. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. I'm waiting for my dudes to get set. Gets it. He's in space. There you go, McLaurin. 33 yards. Now, staying quiet. Just see. All right, ACC teams never sleep on them, though. Got his there you go. It's second down. And they're bringing their little homies up. Gonna play with them a little bit. Oh, look at Humphrey go. Yes, sir. I'll take that all day, man. I'm loving the push that our guys are getting. Loving it. Touchdown! There we go, Sean Andley. Go. Ball on the 15. Two down, two down. Let's go! Let's go! All right, got to read the defensive end. He sticks. There we go, on free eight yard gain. That a boy. Look at y'all playing up. Y'all are playing up. Easy. All right, here it goes. Got it. Yep. Knew that was gonna happen. Now they need to get it down to the 34. 
Your man coverage is pretty solid. He's in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Throws to the receiver and he's There you go, Callen. 18. All right, Petway and Humphrey going cray cray. See what this read option does. You stick. There you go. And they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Really trying to get comfortable here. See what this can provide us. Drop the ball. No. A quick pass over here. See what that does to him. There you go, Williams. Let me catch that ball, dude. Over six points here. I got an open right side of the field. I can tell you that. See what changing the blocking scheme does. Oh, yep. Just like that. Dirty moves, baby. The dirty. What a spectacular run. He put the dirty on him with turns in the first half. Not I'll buy it. Alright, we'll take a five yard. It's second down. Let's see what we got, Ja. There you go, I'm free to get that first. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver. From the 20 yard line. First down. See what the draw play does to him. Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. And Alright, somebody please make a mistake here. Ooh, almost did he get out of bounds? He did. I don't know how. I'm trying to get another passing touchdown, man. I'm trying for all this cheese, bro. Throws it into coverage and it's What? Less than three minutes in the game. Alright, let's see what we have here on this read option. He's at the 30, slides down to Take the, the slide, bruh. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28. Double tight. Double tight. Easy, 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 easy. Wrist man. Switch, switch, switch. Wrist man. Easy, 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 easy. Switch, switch, switch. 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 With a nice play fake. Dude, another sack. What are, what are my linemen doing? Come on. They find themselves in a hole. Why are my guys tired? My guys should not be tired. I should be able to be putting on the gas right now. Gets out to about the 21 yard line. There we go, 50 yards. And, and this play is number eight on the drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. All right, will somebody make a good play here? goes out of bounds. Fourth and inches, yeah, right. That makes it fourth and inches. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Easy, 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 easy. 28 to 7. Up the middle There's nice ball. He falls forward for four. That makes it first and ten. Here's play number 10 on the drive. I'm telling you, dog, I'm trying to boost these stats so that we can at least make a run for the Heisman, you know? A 
There you go. And now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. And we got 284 out of my dude. Oh, no way. Dad it. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Right, so a lot of crossing patterns, maybe the trick. Now he tries to buy some time. No, we're just going to run it in. Petways turned on the speed, got the corner, and really nobody touched. What a crucial point in this game for him to do. All right, that's the end of the game, 35 to 7. Uh, Petway, four touchdowns total, one turnover, threw a pick. That was my fault. I don't know why I keep making stupid decisions. 29 and 38, 284, 16 carries, 54 yards, four total touchdowns. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Let's get into the player stats. Come on, man. Come on, boys. Twenty-nine and thirty-eight, two eighty-four, two touchdowns, one pick. He was sacked four times, so man. Rushing Petway fifty-four yards for two touchdowns. Humphrey sixty-seven. Falk thirteen. Hadley two. Receiving eighty-two for Humphrey. Derek Williams at sixty-six. Mead sixteen. Ward thirty-one. Cowan twenty-seven. McLaurin forty-seven. Parker fifteen. Defensive. Adam Miller led again with solo tackles. Sacks. Adam Miller. And Andrew Bennett, so our linebackers are getting sacks. Picks by Trent Benson, and that was about it on defense. Not too exciting. Anyways, we beat Virginia 35-7. to Stay undefeated in the ACC. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all later.